Hello everyone, uh, this is Greg and I'm going to do a little short video of uh, my 1959 Zenith SF2780 tube console. Uh, I completely went through this thing and restored it, uh, replaced all the caps in it, some resistors that needed replacing. Um, Re, uh, you know, refurbished the turntable, completely broke it down, cleaned it up, got everything working to 100%. I was fortunate enough to get the uh, paperwork with this one when I got it, and uh, looks like it was purchased in Newport News, Virginia, back in 1959 by Captain Henry O. Kemp III, and he paid $450 for it back then, which was a pretty good chunk of change back in '59. So let's open it up and take a look at it. Uh, speaker doors open. They'll go all the way around to the, to the sides. Very nice. Uh, center door opens, of course, and there's your, uh, there's your uh, tuner and the Cobra-matic, legendary Cobra-matic changer down there. I've also got Bluetooth wired into this, and that's what we'll hear a little bit of music out of it with the Bluetooth. Uh, so let's go ahead and just turn that volume up a little bit on that. Cause you are the lover I have waited for. <laughs> Very sweet sounding console. Uh, it's got the Jensen 103 horns in there. Very desirable. Uh, 14 inch speakers, well, no, I think those are 12s actually, but high efficiency speakers. Very mellow sound, uh, it's got a EL84 uh, push-pull amp, which uh, is an excellent, excellent, excellent amplifier. I really love the sound I get out of this thing. But this, uh, listen for a second. All right, we'll probably shut that down before YouTube gets uh, angry with me. Uh, Cobramatic, it works very well. Uh, let's pull it out and see if we can get it to work. I'm still on Bluetooth, so I'm not going to get any sound out of this unless I switch it over here. But just to show you what we got on the... It all works. I don't use the, the Cobramatic a whole lot. Because it does have a quite a bit of tracking force, but I'll play some of these older records on there that I've bought used. They're just in good condition anyway, so uh, I like to play it, enjoy it. Let's see if I can switch it over to the, uh, you have to go from the tape input to the stereo input. That should give us a... Uh, There we go. Put the volume back up. Little doors. But all works in good working order. So, flip that one off. Switching back off. But. There you have it. I mean, that's the 1959 Zenith, and uh, I really, really enjoy playing this console. It's a, just a really mellow sound to it. So, thank you for watching.